Hi friends, welcome to this quick and easy tutorial on how to make your own pet collar. Today I'll be making mine for this cat plushie I recently completed, but you can easily resize this to fit any of your plushie or real life pet. Here are the materials you will need. Burnet velvet yarn in grey orchid, 5mm crochet hook, or you can use any yarn and hook of your choice, one bell or button, Mine measures 14 mm. Adjust the size accordingly if you use different yarn or hook. Stitch counter if you have one, scissor, and yarning needle. To begin, start by tying a slip knot. Leave some tail for seaming. Chain 4. Row 1, turning chain 1, then 3 single crochet in a chain. Turning chain simply means that we are going to be skipping this last chain as this will form the height for this single crochet to come. So skipping the last chain, we are going to do 3 single crochet in the chain until the end. So that's the first single crochet. Two more to go. Now we have reached the end. For row two onwards, turning chain one, turn work, then three single crochet. That's the first turning chain one. Now turn our work then three single crochet so that's the first single crochet second single crochet third single crochet repeat this for row three so turning chain one turn work Three single crochet. This is the time to use stitch counter if you have one. My cat plushie neck circumference measures 11 cm. So we can keep going now and keep repeating row 2 until we reach approximately 11 cm. When making it for a plushie, we can make it tight and snug so we can finish at about 1 cm less. But if you are making this for a real life pet, please allow for some room so it's not too tight. I hope you're enjoying this tutorial so far. Give me a like if you do. Thank you friends. So at row 13, my collar measures about 10 cm. This is good for a snug fit, for a toy, not for a real life pet. Once you reach the length that's suitable for your pet or toy that you are making, we want to create a buttonhole now. So for the next row, turning chain 1, turn work, 1 single crochet, skip the next stitch and do chain 1 instead. This will form the buttonhole and finish with 1 single crochet. I'm labeling this row as row 14, so if you are following along from my free cat plushie video tutorial, you know that this is row 14 where you need to stop and create that buttonhole. Now for row 15 or the last row, turning chain 1, turn work, 
finish with three single crochet. Leave some tail for seaming. Cut and pull through. So we have this rectangular piece of the collar done. So I got these bells from Amazon. They come in variety of sweet colors, which I find it really hard to find something like this. They usually come in that primary colors, while this is like a more muted, pale, pinky baby colors, which I really love. I'll put the link in the description later on if you want to get some as well. I was choosing between the aqua or the mustard yellow and decided to go with the aqua. Now what we want to do next, using the yarning needle, let's start by threading through the end section, the one with the buttonhole towards the beginning. Keep stretching the fabric as we go. Once we meet the thread at the beginning, tie a couple of knots to secure. Then we want to go towards the center edge to attach the bell. Keep going towards the other end. And repeat the same for both threads. Apply another two slip knots to secure at the under end. And let's go back the other way one more time for extra security. Once we reach the end, tie three knots then cut any remaining yarn. I was actually going to add extra gold embroidery border but I think the color looks good as is. I think I'm done, let's keep it nice and simple. So to attach it, Simply wrap it around the neck and button it up. Ta-da! It's now done and our removable cat bell collar is ready to go. I will be making the cat face embroidery and overlock stitch tutorial in a few weeks time. Take care my love.